Hey guys, just doing a little update. Painting this mask went horribly wrong. Okay, when I did the clear coat, I didn't know how long to wait. When I tried to pick it up, pick it up, part of it stuck to like the cardboard. Like it's painted painted on cardboard, so I wouldn't get it on the dirt or something like that, or animals, or you know, wreck the yard or something like that. And when I took it off, part of the thing kind of peeled like a bit of it off, and I just ended up trying to peel, like, get rid of all the paint and stuff like that. And it went down to the, um, original blank shine stuff. So I'll show you the damage. Look at that. That looks awesome. I'll just sand it down because it was a lot worse before. So I'm just going to sand it down and I'll spend some more money getting more paint because I spent all my money. Well, not all of it, but I spent, like I used all the spray paint. Yeah, not a good idea to use all the spray paint, but I'll get some more. And, you know... What I'm planning to do is get Kane Hodder and Derek Mears to sign this. So, I need to at least save 40 bucks. And after spending another 40 bucks buying the tickets for me and my sister to go to Rock and Shock. So, that's 80 bucks that I'm going to at least spend for Rock and Shock. So. Um, the Chevron. I decided, yeah, I decided to change the Chevrons to give it a Part 8 kind of look to it. And, you know, the Chevron is still going to be black. And the top Chevron is going to be um, a Part 3 type head, forehead Chevron, but black. Um, So basically, it's going to be like a mix between my own idea, a remake, and part 7 and part 8, um, Jason Mask mix. Because, you know, in the part 7, right, by the 13th part 7, this sh top chevron, in my opinion, looks black. So I kind of went for that type of feel. Yeah, it's itchy. Sorry. Um, so I just, you know, taped some taped um, plastic like outlines I used like a plastic thing that um you know those binders you get like I had that special material kind of cut it up a uh, little pocket of one of my of one of the binders I wasn't using and kind of made the chevrons to you know give an outline of what I'm planning to make this mask look and Part 8, um, style bottom chevrons look awesome in black. And the top forehead chevron looks good too. So, yeah, I'm gonna add some cuts, like, probably around the, this section right here. Cause, you know, I'll be scratching magnet. I'll scratch part of the nose. And around the vent, bottom vent holes, maybe around the nose, vent hole, stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm pumped for rock and shock. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to also and try to, you know, smooth out the eye holes and put on. It's gonna have part three straps because I love those straps. They're awesome downright awesome like I have them on every mask I'd ever get that's how much awesome they are yeah cuz you know I don't know why but I really like them cuz they're fully adjustable I guess and they're elastic so they'll snug my face in <laughs> so yeah 
And also, the vent holes, uh, excuse me, look a little too big to me. I don't know, maybe it's all in my head. Comment below if you think the, the vent holes are a bit big as well. Because I've seen some videos where, like, the back of the mask, where the vent holes, you know, where the drill has a little bit of that section, like, outline. Like, I'll show you. Like, they usually have that type of outline, but what I use is a pair of scissors to kind of do my best to get around as close as I could, like, the, t the, the head vent holes, like, right here, see? So, I think they're a bit too big, but comment below if you don't think that. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely need to sand um, the vent hole so they don't cut up my face while I wear the mask. Also, with the um, eyes, I might put like a black mesh over it because rocket chalk is probably going to be very lit. So, people might see my eyes, you know. But I want to give it that dark, eyeless look type thing. So, I might put some black mesh stuff around the eyes. So, yeah. So, that's how far I am with this mask. And the goal is to get this done before Rocket Shock. That's my goal. So, hopefully, it will be c completed by then. And if so, I will make a video before. Like, if it's, like, day before... Um, Rock and Shock, I'll finish, like, make a video the next morning, me showing it off and stuff like that, before I go, because I'm, because I'm, yeah, because I want to show you guys my mask, and also I'm going to be bringing this camera right here to, um, like, right here to Rock and Shock, and I'll be, you know, recording a lot of stuff there, so, be eating be tuned in for that. Uh, I'm not gonna edit them all together, like all the clips I see a rocket shock and edit them together in one clip. Because I'm um, sorry, pardon for my language, but editing is a bitch. Okay, because my computer is total crap when it handles that stuff. That kind of stuff it takes me like a month to edit um, a set of footage. Like, stuff I would get from Rocket Shock. It would take me a month to edit all that. So. So. I'm going to plan to sand this down. Paint, repaint it. Add some weathering. Put the chevrons in the right places where I want them to go. Strap it. And have it all done for Rock and Shock. And spend 40 bucks on King Han and Derek Mears to sign the back of it. And they have Kane Hodder to also write the word kill on the forehead. I don't know, it just seems cool. And, you know, I wanted to match um, Kane Hodder's um, tattoo on his bottom lip of the word kill. You know, to kind of give it a Kane Hodder feel to it. Or essence. So... We'll make sure this doesn't fall. But yeah. Um, comment below what you think of it. Tell me if, if the vent holes appear big to you as well. So, yeah, catch you guys later. Hope you like my little update. Peace.